hey guys how you guys doing welcome back to my channel it's your girl tinu and i'm back with another video today we're going to be doing a old-fashioned haul and this is going to be a middle eastern haul i have brought so many middle eastern fragrances i've been like going ham on the middle eastern front like literally when i say that i've been going ham i have about 15 fragrances to share with you today and i hope you guys are ready for this and if you are not ready for this then i don't know what you're thinking about grab a snack this video is going to be probably 20 minutes or more long because like i said i have 15 fragrances to talk to you about but before I go ahead and continue with this video, if you're new to my channel and you're just seeing me for the first time, my name is Tinu and I'm a lover, a lover of perfumes, makeup, beauty, and whatever else floats my boat. And if you're here for all that, please consider subscribing. And if you do like this content towards the end of the video, don't forget to hit that like button because it does help my channel. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to comment down below your fragrance of the day. I really want to know what you guys are smelling like. I really want to know the perfumes that are interesting to you because of course you guys are the ones that lead me to buy these stuff. Every time you comment down below, I'm always checking out these fragrances on Fragrantica to see if they're the type of scents that I will purchase. Now let us continue with the purpose of this video. The first one I'm going to talk about is Shagaf Oud Tonka. This one is the one that I really, really wanted so bad because people were saying that this is similar to BDK's Velvet Tonka. And I actually own that in my collection. I actually smelt this and I was trying to compare the two. Guys, they do not smell identical. I mean, I think they vibe the same. They're like maybe 80% you know, on the same wavelength, but they don't smell alike. This one is another breed, I tell you guys. I'm just gonna spray this test strip so I can give you guys the vibe. Oh my God, guys, <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's sweet, very creamy, milky. You get a really distinct almond note in there, and then you get that tonka, and it's like sweet vanilla cream in the background. This one is way better than the BDK. Dare I not say. I know that's going to be pushing it because this is literally like, I got this as a tester for like 30 bucks. And I'm comparing this with a perfume that is over $200. This perfume, in my opinion, smells way better than the BDK version. I wore this, you know, testing it out to see longevity and also to see if I get compliments. And let me tell you guys, there is not one person that passed beside me that didn't give me a compliment. They love this. Utanka, I see the hype and I'm glad I got my hands on it. I will be testing it out more. I don't really no, you know, longevity wise projection because I'm really just testing these out. And this again is Shagaf Utanka by Swiss Arabian. So I'm going to stick with Swiss Arabian because there are other two parts to this line. The other part to this line is Shagaf Ud Amar. This one, from what I heard, is similar to Herbal Pure from Zorjoff or Kirky from Tiziana Terenzi. I have Kirky. I don't have uh, Zerjoff or Rapur because when I got Kirky, I didn't feel that I needed to get the Zerjoff version. I haven't smelt the Herbal Pure before, so I don't really know how to compare the two. But I can tell you if it's similar to the Kirky from Tiziana Terenzi. Now, this one opens up with a lot of fruits, a lot of fruits. You get your, you have your melon in there. There is a lot of, you know, tropical fruits pineapple some passion fruit note is in here i think there's passion fruit there's melon in here for sure guys this one is like it kind of gives me the vibe of a vacation if you're going to like a very you know hot beautiful island like the bahamas 
and it's really sweet it's not sweet where it's too achy sweet it's very fresh i think that's why i'm going fresh and sweet and fruity and i do get a touch of florals in there very 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 nice fragrance this one i actually wore it uh, quite a bit and i could tell you that it's great on longevity i would say longevity wise it's about eight hours plus and um great siage like it lasts people can smell you when you leave the room the siage is there the projection is there and i can tell you it does buy 90 percent with cookie but it has its own twang it, ha it has its own difference it's not 100 percent like cookie it goes a different direction when it dries down that's what i'm trying to go with but i love this one i really really love it i feel like if you don't have kirky this is something you can get because it's really really great gonna be great for the summer and the spring i think this is a real 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 uh stunning release from swizz arabian yeah so shaga Ud amar from swizz arabian now the final um swizz arabian fragrance that i did get is shaga Ud azrak now this one was going viral because people thought that this was similar to Montel's Oud Honey. And let me tell you guys, I did declutter that way before I even started talking about perfumes. When I started becoming an addict to perfumes, I only had maybe like 30 in my collection and the Montel Oud Honey was one of them. I didn't like that fragrance for anything. I think there was something sharp about it that just turned me off and when i got my hands on this i was like you know what i hope it does not smell like that because i know everyone says it does but i was just hoping that there was a different direction with this so this one is your honey your oud your cinnamon it has a lot of cinnamon in this like that's the first thing you get when you spray it, that blast of cinnamon is just all up in your nose and then when it dries down, that's when the magic happens. It becomes a like smoky honey bomb. Now, I don't get that sharpness that I used to get with um, Honey Oud from Montel. I don't know if my nose has changed. Maybe that time I wasn't into these type of fragrances. And now all of a sudden, you know, I have a lot of oud in my fragrance collection. I have a lot of, you know, honey in my fragrance collection. And three years ago, I couldn't stand those scents. So this is really good. I love this. And this, guys, beast mode. When I say beast mode, it rivals the Montel version in terms of longevity and projection and siage. It is strong, baby. You only need at least three sprays of this. You do not need more than that unless you are trying to kill somebody or kill yourself as well this is really really great i really really like it and it's another stunning release if you're not the person that likes unisex fragrances you won't like this i think a man can wear this my husband can probably wear this i can wear it so i love this one again this is shaga food Azrak. We're going to move on <laughs> to Latafa. And let me tell you guys, I did get quite a bit of Latafa fragrances. Latafa happens to be my favorite Middle Eastern brand ever. No kidding, guys. So I'm going to start with this fragrance. These are the two. I'm going to show you these two, but I'll start with this one. This is Ajayeb Dubai. This one, the names are kind of similar, but the, you know, the fragrance is different. So I'm actually going to pull up the notes because I really want you guys to get the gist of this fragrance. This is a sweet, coffee, warm, spicy, latonic, woody, caramel, vanilla, powdery, fruity fragrance. And baby, guys, this is gourmand. If you're looking for a gourmand fragrance, this is really it. This has top notes of pineapple and saffron the mid notes are your coffee and then you got this violet leaf it gives it a little bit of greenness not too much where it makes the fragrance lean masculine and then in the base you get butterscotch sandalwood and vanilla guys butterscotch sandalwood and vanilla i've never seen butterscotch in a fragrance and when i was researching on this fragrance that is what really you know, made me want to get it because I was like, butterscotch? This has to be fire. Spoiler alert, this is actually my favorite out of the two. This is the nighttime version of the of the white one. 
I'm starting with this because I wanted to give you guys the tea. This opens up sweet, creamy, milky. You definitely get that heavy dose of caramel. The caramel is just magnificent. It's very alluring, sexy, gourmand. If you don't like gourmands, you're not gonna like this. But this is not your typical foodie gourmand. It's like a perfumey gourmand. That saffron is well done. It is just that touch of spiciness to this fragrance that makes it just so appealing and so, you know, sexy. You know, I've been blind buying and I've been getting great successes. And this is one of the great success blind buys I've ever had. Very great. Very, very up my alley. The other one, which is in the white bottle, which has no name. <laughs> now the white one, according to Fragrantica, is called Ajaya Dubai Portrait. That's what it says. Okay. But it doesn't say that on the box, but at least we can kind of differentiate the two. This is a fruity, tropical, sweet, woody, floral, powdery, latonic, and terpenic, actually, and amber fragrance, according to Fragrantica. The reason I love this one, this one too was a su successful blind buy, is the mango in here. Oh my God, guys, the mango in here is like a juicy pulp mango. It's like a mango that literally is overripe, not overripe where it's rotten, but like ripe enough and soft and juicy and watery. And oh God, you get the orange in the top note and then the lemon. I love that the lemon is not over overtaking this fragrance because you know how some fragrances when they have lemon, the lemon tends to be the pack and punch of the fragrance. This one has lemon, but the lemon is dialed back. It's not, you know, in your face. The mango though, even though it's in the mid, you get that mango right there. Mm, God, this is tropical vibes. And this one actually has oud. The oud is in the background. It's not really making that fragrance, you know, too Middle Eastern leaning. It's just there. It's giving it more power, giving it more character. I love the oud in here. It's really nice. It's not your barnyard, dirty, grassy oud. It's just like a pleasant, sweet oud. And then the creaminess I get is from the sandalwood. When the sandalwood comes out in the base and you get it a very muxy vibe. That jasmine in there, ooh, guys, the jasmine in there is very refined. It is just giving all the notes some kind of je ne sais quoi smell. Like it smells really, really like a $300 fragrance. This fragrance smells like $300. It does not smell like it's 29 bucks. It is so good. And guys, what's up with Latafa and their packaging? It's like ridiculous. Look at this bottle. Can you guys believe that this is 30 bucks? The bottle does not even say 30 bucks. I mean, look at this one too. It is crazy. I don't understand how they're even getting the money to create this, create packaging. You guys, wait a second. You're going to see another Latafa fragrance that the packaging is just unreal. One sec. This is another Latafa fragrance. You guys are going to see this trend. Is a lot of Latafa in here. This is called Sondos. This is a viral fragrance I've seen people talk about. And I was just like, you know, I saw it on, on Joma Shop and it was really inexpensive, of course. And I wanted to get this. I didn't even care how it smelled, but the bottle, guys, look at that presentation that's what really led me to get this fragrance it wasn't the fragrance the notes look nice but i wasn't really concerned about the notes i was looking at the bottle the notes that are listed on this fragrance does not even give you what this fragrance is giving you this fragrance is giving me a sweet candy caramel delicious oh my god <laughs> this is like giving me something sweet and fruity. I don't know what fruit it is. Maybe it's a berry. You know what? Let's just pull the notes. Fragrantica says it's a white floral and they're true on that. There's something floral about this. I don't know if it's either tuberose or a jasmine. I think it is tuberose actually when I look at the notes now. It is tuberose. This one again has saffron and that is what I feel makes this fragrance unique. And it has mandarin orange. So now that orange 
it's more like a candy orange in my opinion because this smells like candy like an orange that is very ripe and dripping in syrup like you literally just dunked an orange and some hot syrup and it became a candy and then the florals oh god the tuberose in there is not heady tuberose it's not tuberose that will kill you like the one in homage this one is peach blossom florals rose tuberose then in the base there is a touch of suede the suede does not really overwhelm this fragrance this fragrance is 100 percent feminine i won't say a man would like like to wear this because if you smell it guys it's femininity in the highest order the suede is just that little touch of woodiness the little touch of leather that gives it a different vibe when it dries down right now you can't get it but when it dries down oh my god this fragrance develops and becomes 10 times more better like it wasn't better in the beginning it becomes even more better at the end this one i rate it 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 and packaging 10 out of 10 Ugh, before i break it 10 out of 10 guys so far this whole viral tiktok thing that i brought based off of have been like good good ones now let us move on now another mango fragrance that i brought lean guys you know how i told you that ajaya portrait is more of a you know juicy mango you know ripe mango this is more of a mango that's green you know have you seen those green mangoes that are just not ripe but they're like you know good enough to eat this is the type of fragrance i actually got this on jomo shop as well this is a turmeric bergamot pink pepper ginger and then it has mango and jasmine tuberose and black pepper in the heart notes osmantus as well and in the base you'll get your sandalwood your mux your incense now i'm gonna spray it so i can kind of you know give you a, a better description of this fragrance now if you want something a little dialed back from this lean is the best one to go with it is still a mango fragrance it is very nice and floral as well it's like a fruit a fruity floral fragrance i love lean um i feel like this one is more heavy on the florals and then you get that mango and you get the uh, other like the incense you get that in the dry down it's so good another another success blind buy i swear to god this is gonna be the trend in this video i have a mini dance because i have been wearing this i wore it one day and i got compliments like people were asking me what am i wearing and not everyone knows middle eastern fragrances people don't know about latafa they don't know about swiss arabian paris corner fragrance word who knows about it other than us frag heads another latafa fragrance you know of course latafa again this is body out oud honor and glory this is another kind of tropical fragrance kind of herbal pure leaning but this one has creme brulee in the notes oh guys it's different but that creme brulee gives it sort of a gourmand edge i love this one it has i think melon in it too now this one opens up with a pineapple a pineapple and that creme brulee. you get that very in the opening that creme brulee gives a slight, slight latonic edge to it and then you get some blast of cinnamon you get a spiciness to this and i think it's the black pepper in this fragrance and when it dries down the vanilla comes out with the touches of wood from the sandalwood and the cashmere mm, guys this one i love i actually like it it is similar to Shagaf Oud Amar, but it's different. They both dry down totally differently. This one dries down really woody and mossy and vanilla. I really, really like it. And if you're looking for another tropical fragrance that is different in a dry down, this is good. Now I'm going to talk about another one. This is another Latafa fragrance. This is called Liam. This one... From what people are saying is a dupe to 
Gris Charnel by BDK. And I don't have Gris Charnel, but I do have the X-Ray. I think it's the X-Ray or the regular. I do have a sample of one of the Gris Charnels. And I can tell you guys that it's very similar, okay? But it's not the 100% dupe, okay? This one has notes of fig. Now this is a very unisex fragrance. A man can wear this and a woman, but it's more masculine leaning than anything. But this one is so beautiful, so sexy. Like I feel like I want to smell it on myself and I want my man to smell as well like this. This is so beautiful. It is fresh, woody, spicy that fig gives it a slight sweetness but it's not very sweet at all green as well there's something green about this i i need to check on these notes so you get something spicy and i believe that there is some cardamom in the top the fig is right there and then you get some kind of tea-like quality to this there's a little bit of powderiness I think there might be a violet or iris note to this. The vetiver, the sandalwood gives it that masculinity and the patchouli. And then you get that vanilla very, very little when it dries down. So this is overall, to be honest, a more masculine fragrance, but a woman can wear this. I wore it. They tried to really do Gris Chanel, even with the juice. Any of these fragrances that I am talking about will be listed in the description bar. If you have any questions about these fragrances, please leave me a comment down below because I can answer those questions readily. I have yet another Latafa fragrance. This is called Bayan. This is a rose oud fragrance. I saw some people say this is similar to Oud Bouquet from Lancome. And guys, this is no way similar. I mean, they do vibe, but they're not the same. If you don't like sweet, oody kind of fragrances and you want something more elevated, more, you know, sexier, this one is different. It's a little more green. The oud in here is a little more of your dirty oud. It's not super dirty. It still has some class to it. It's just really, really, you know, different from the other ouds, like in the other fragrances that I mentioned. This one is really, really great. And I like that fact that it's not the same as Oud Bouquet because I already have so many Oud Bouquet dupes that literally it becomes redundant. I really don't want another Oud Bouquet dupe anymore. <laughs> this one is very your typical straight up watery rose toppled with Oud. This is so beautiful and it's really long lasting. I feel like a man can wear this as well, but this is maybe 60, 40, 60% 60 female, 40% male. A man could wear this and pull this off, you know, I believe so. But guys, look at the packaging again. This is another one. Look at the packaging. Look at this. I just can't believe how well Latafa is doing on these packaging and the juice of the fragrance. It's just outstanding. This, guys, I've been trying to get my hands on it for the longest. This is Sharaf Blend by Simaya. This is also a sister brand to Afnan. This is the best, best dupe to Angel Share. I will be talking about this more detailed in a dupe video that I'm trying to get together. This, I'm telling you guys, is the perfect dupe to Angel Share with the fraction for the cost. It smells like Angel Share 99%. Nothing can be 100%, so I'm not giving it that. This opens up with that cognac, the booziness on This Is Unreal with the cinnamon. Oh, guys, this would give Angel Share a run for its money. This is a full 3.4 bottle. My Angel Share is a 1.7, and I've been using this more because this one has the same longevity, the same you know, oomph that Angel Share has. Just a beautiful gourmand. Smells like that baked apple pie feel without the apple. Even Angel Share does not have apple, but it has that cinnamon baked apple pie feeling. It feels like a gourmand, but not really a true gourmand, but it smells like a gourmand. If you can get your hands on it, I will share the link that I got this. I think LaBelle Fragrances has one and it's like, 30 something bucks. It's really cheap. But then you go on Macari, people are selling this for 120 bucks because it's that good. It is worth every single penny that I spent. 
I spent 30 bucks for it, but I was initially gonna buy it for $100, but I'm glad I got it for the steel that I got it for. This one, guys, I need to spray it again. It is intoxicating. Like I said, just like how Angel Share is intoxicating, this is a dead on dupe, guys. I will not kid you wrong. I don't wanna talk too much about this because like I said, I will be coming out with a video speaking about dupes and this is going to be included and I can give you all the tea on this fragrance. So this is again, Zemaya's Sharf Blend. Now we're going to start talking about a fragrance that was a blind buy fail. I want to start with this because I want to end on a good note. This is called Amir You Are Drugged and this is by Paris Corner this guys i had so many hopes for it look at the juice guys the juice kind of looks like a dark brown purplish kind of color but guys i really do not even want to smell this because it makes me sick to my stomach this supposedly is a dupe to intoxicated by killian but guys this fragrance is not it for me so this opens up with cinnamon whiskey cardamom nutmeg and coffee and vanilla i really don't get much of the coffee or the vanilla but i get the straight up whiskey it smells like gasoline like seriously oh my god i don't like this fragrance at all just even smelling the top of it makes me sick and i shouldn't have smelt it the cardamom is too much and the nutmeg too much in this fragrance it kind of overshadows the coffee and the vanilla. I don't like this. And I don't think my husband will like this either. Because I was thinking of passing this along to him. But I think he is going to tell me that what the heck is this? I don't understand this. This is not it. Very, very unpleasant fragrance. If you like this, I do apologize. But no. No, no Paris Corner. This was not done well. If your guys are trying to dupe the Killian and the Killian smells different, then you failed. And if the Killian does smell like this, well, Killian, what were you thinking? And by the way, guys, that will be decluttered. I'm literally just trying to let you know my opinions, but it will be decluttered. It's not going to stay in my collection. Now, the other one that really blew my socks off is the When the Soul Gets High. It's also from Amir, also from Paris Corner. This one, guys, is supposed to be a dupe to Killian's Phantom something something. I can't remember the name, the full name. This is supposed to be a dupe to that. And let me tell you guys, oh guys, this is so beautiful. It is really gourmand. I get a caramel in here. A caramelly. There's something really sexy about this fragrance. I can't really put my finger on it. It smells something like I've never smelled before. I can smell the honey, the cinnamon is in there, and then you get that tobacco. It gives it a really, really masculine edge, but the tobacco is not too much. It's very light. Then vanilla is in there, obviously. I can smell that. So let's go over the notes. Because, I, ooh, okay, it has a lot of notes. So it got whole honey, tobacco, cherry. Now that's what I'm getting. I know the smell kind of familiar, like there was a cherry in there. The cherry smells not like a syrup cherry or a cough syrup cherry. It smells like it's real. It's not, it doesn't smell synthetic. Then it has gingerbread, vanilla, tonka bean, French labdanum, raspberry, chamomile, almond, amber, cardamom, benzoin, saffron, virginian cedar, cedar, nutmeg, patchouli, geranium, olibanum, oak, bergamot, and coriander. This is a lot of notes, guys. But literally, this fragrance is beautiful. This is the best out of the two. But it's not my favorite out of everything I have here, but it's really good, and I'm going to keep it. Yeah, this is When the Soul Gets High by Amir, also from Paris Corner. Now, we're going to ship back to Latafa. This is another fragrance. I'm probably going to pass this along to my daughter. This is Confidential Private Gold by La Tafa. This is another Kirky Tiziani Terenzi dupe. You guys even look at the packaging. Guys, don't you see the packaging? It looks just like a Tiziani Terenzi perfume. And it's just that. It literally smells just like it. And I already have Tiziani Terenzi Kirky. I have another one that's similar to it. 
I really don't need a third one, you know? So I told my daughter, I said, when I film this video, I will pass it along to you. Notwithstanding, this smells really good. It's a fresh, fruity, watery, powdery, green fragrance. Like I said, the same kind of DNA. Peach, your strawberry, your app, your pear, passion fruit, your cassis, lily of the valley, your mugs. The mugs is there, like present, even in the top note. It dries down muxy, like a muxy fruity floral. And then you get your heliotrope. This is really gonna be girly fru fru la la. It's not necessarily leaving my collection, but I will give this to my daughter. I have two more fragrances and then we're gonna wrap up this video. The next fragrance is also from Amer, a sister brand to Paris Corner. This is Frenetic Delicios. This one supposedly is a dupe to Feb Delicios. I believe that is from Dior. It has been discontinued. This one, guys, Tonka on steroids. <laughs> Milky Tonka with cherry. I don't know how Feb smells like, but this one smells opulent, sexy, edible, gourmand, if I'm not mistaken. Latonic, sweet vanilla that cherry is very prominent in there oof this one is so good i love it and i'm glad i got my hands on it it's been sold out every single time i try to get my hands on it but i'm finally glad that i was able to like snag this for a very very cheap price <laughs> because you know people are reselling this i can't believe people are reselling dupes for such high price but i didn't get it for that price i got it for like 30 bucks i believe that again is Frenetic Delicios from Paris Corner. I know I said I didn't want to end this video on a bad note, but to be honest, I kind of am ending it in a bad note because I tried to give this fragrance so many chances. I gave it a one chance, the second, the third, the fourth. I know my sister said, please, Tino, just give it a chance. Give it a chance. Because I am not yet decluttering this, I will give it a tenth chance you know this is a fragrance from the niche emirati line from latafa this fragrance guys the notes do not even compare to what this fragrance smells like it is very masculine leaning it has fig in there this i was hoping was going to be gris chanel dupe before i purchased liam when i got it i was like this does not smell like gris chanel at all it smells a little bit, but there is something in there that just does not work with my nose. Something really sharp, and I don't like it. Like, this one is very smooth. Liam is very smooth. This one, it just, like, holds up the brakes on you when you smell it. I do not like that metallic note that's in here. There's no notes that listed a metallic note. It smells like there's something metallic in here. It's not a really bad fragrance, but I don't like it enough to keep it so i'm still testing out you know my sister said let it macerate let it you know stay in a hidden place for a sec and then come back to it so i will give it another shot and i will let you guys know if it's staying in my collection in an upcoming video i don't want to talk too much about it because you know i don't want to end this video on a bad note that's it guys these are the fragrances the middle eastern fragrances that your girl held i know this was a long video that's why i told you to grab a snack and grab some wine because literally i had some wine in between this video this was a lot to talk about in one video thank you guys again so much for watching happy valentine's day again if i never said it i think i said it in the last video but again if you're watching this video for the first time and you're seeing me Happy Valentine's Day. And of course, if you like this video and you like my content and you want to, you know, see more of me, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the post notifications because it does notify you when I upload a new video. And if you like this video, what are you doing? Thumbs it up. It really helps support my channel. I don't ask you for money. I don't put a link down below to pay me anything. All I ask for you is the thumbs up this video because it helps bring more traffic and brings more attention to my videos if nobody's thumbsing you up nobody's gonna watch that's pretty much it thank you guys again so much for your love and support i love you guys and i will see you in another video bye